Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Belarus has reportedly deployed tanks near its border with NATO, while tensions between Russia and the Strategic Alliance continue to simmer. Amid the war in Ukraine, the Belarusian military mobilized reservists and kicked off major military maneuvers, according to a report published by the Kiev Post on Thursday. Troops and equipment, including tanks from Belarus 19th Guards Mechanized Brigade, were reportedly deployed near the country's western border with NATO member country Lithuania. The Community of Railway Workers of Belarus, a group opposed to the policies of Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, who was a close ally to Russian President Vladimir Putin, said that a train loaded with military equipment and personnel arrived on Wednesday night in Oshmine, an area located less than 15 miles from the border of Lithuania. The group said that the train arriving at Oshmiany Station consisted of four passenger cars filled with Belarusian troops and 42 cars loaded with equipment, including 1972 B tanks. Belarus Ministry of Defense later confirmed that the deployment included T-72B tanks and BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, according to the Belarusian Hagen News Project. The Belarusian Defense Ministry said in a statement shared on social media that military training exercise was taking place in a region that includes Oshmiany through April 5th. Additional exercises were reportedly taking place in several other regions of Belarus, including some in areas not far from the border with Poland, another NATO member country. Personnel will have to move to designated areas and conduct a series of exercises and training, including live fire of the Belarusian army, said in a statement, according to a translation from the Kiev. During the inspection, the movement of military equipment is planned and it is possible to temporarily restrict the movement of civilian transport on public roads and areas. Lukashenko, an autocratic ruler who has repeatedly faced international accusations of human rights abuses and election rigging, last month accused Poland of plotting with the U.S. to carry out a large-scale provocation that would later be blamed on Russia and Belarus. Comparing the NATO allies to Nazi leader Adolf Hitler at the beginning of World War II, Belarusian Defense Minister Viktor Krenin seemingly issued a threat to NATO during an interview on Russian state television a short time later saying Minsk will not stand on ceremony in the event of its airspace is violated and would shoot down any foreign aircraft without warning. Earlier this year, Belarus announced that it had adopted a new military doctrine allowing for the use of nuclear weapons, having received a shipment of tactical nuclear weapons from Russia at the end of 2023. Meanwhile, NATO is currently conducting its largest military exercise in Europe in decades. Operation Steadfast Defender is scheduled to continue through May and includes over 90,000 troops from all 32 of the alliance's member states. Russia has claimed that the exercise is really a rehearsal for a U.S.-planned NATO attack on its territory. Russian Defense Ministry deploys 23 new T-90 Emperor III main battle tanks in Central District on May 15, 2024. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced the induction of 23 T-90 Empurev main battle tanks into service with the motorized rifle formation of the Combined Arms Army of the Central Military District, CMD the CMD, formed in 2010, is Russia's largest and most populous military district, regrouping two Russian Combined Arms Armies and Air Force and Air Defense Command, and various other units. The Central Military District was officially formed on October 21, 2010 as part of a significant restructuring aimed at updating the armed forces of the Russian Federation. This restructuring was formalized by Presidential Decree No. 1144, signed on September 20, 2010, and involved the amalgamation of the Volga Ural Military District and the western portion of the Siberian Military District. Since its inception, the CMD has been an important component of Russia's military framework, encompassing two combined arms armies and air force and air defense command, and various other units stationed within the district. Additionally, the 201st military base in Tajikistan falls under the jurisdiction of the USC Center, which is subordinate to the CMD. Covering a vast area, the Central Military District is the largest military district in Russia by geographic size, spanning 7,060,000 square kilometers, approximately 2,730,000 square mi, which constitutes about 40% of the country's territory. It is also the most populous military district, home to 54.9 million people, or 39% of Russia's population. The CMD's jurisdiction includes 29 of Russia's 85 federal subjects such as Altai, Krade, Bashkir, 
Tostin, Chelyabinsk Oblast, and Tatarstan, among others. Headquartered in Ekaterinburg, the district has been under the command of Lieutenant General Andrei Mordvichev since February 17, 2023. The Central Military District possesses a substantial array of military equipment reflecting its role within the Russian Armed Forces. The district includes significant ground forces with key units such as the 2nd Guards, Combined Arms Army and the 41st Combined Arms Army. Within these formations, notable equipment includes hundreds of tanks, particularly T-72 models. For example, the 41st Combined Arms Army recently mobilized equipment, including T-72BM and T-72B, one main battle tanks for deploy deployment near the Ukrainian border. Additionally, the CMDS 90th Guards Tank Division has been equipped with the latest T-90 Emperiv tanks and is also set to receive BMPT Terminator Tank Support Combat Vehicles, enhancing its firepower and operational capabilities. Furthermore, the district's 201st military base in Tajikistan has been upgraded with T-72B-3M tanks, man-portable air defense systems and other modern equipment. The Russian T-90M Pre-Ur AV-3 is the most advanced iteration of the T-90 main battle tank series, incorporating several improvements over its predecessors. It features a 125mm to a 46M4 smoothbore main gun capable of firing both conventional munitions and the Nime M119 reflex anti-tank guided missiles, which can engage targets up to 5 kilometers away. Additionally, the T-90M is equipped with a modern automated digital fire control system that significantly improves its target acquisition, tracking, and engagement capabilities. Protection is a key focus of the T-90M, which employs the Relict Explosive Reactive Armor Era, offering defense against modern anti-tank weapons, including those with tandem warheads. Compared to the older Contact 5 era used in previous T-90 variants, the tank also includes an active protection system that can automatically deploy smoke grenades triggered by laser targeting, helping to obscure the tank from enemy fire and increase its battlefield survivability. This combination of reactive and active protection systems aims to make the T-90 a resilient against a wide range of threats, including armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding, Sabot APs, and DS rounds. However, the T-90M's performance in combat has shown mixed results. While it is one of the most advanced tanks in Russia's arsenal, its deployment in the Ukraine conflict has highlighted some vulnerabilities. Numerous T-90M tanks have been destroyed or captured, often by Western-supplied systems used by Ukrainian forces, such as the FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank guided missile and M-142 High Medi ARS rocket launcher. These setbacks include a notable neutralization by a Bradley M-2, a two-infantry fighting vehicle IFV in Ukraine. Despite these issues, the T-90M remains a significant component of Russia's armored capabilities, representing a notable upgrade compared to earlier Russian main battle tanks.